Okay, so I want to tell a little story about this thing that happened one time when I was a kid. Okay, so I'm 10 years old, and somehow <laughs> I read somewhere that there were these people that instead of a bar mitzvah, these Jewish people, they decided to do a bark mitzvah for their dog. I'm not fucking kidding you. A bark mitzvah. I don't know what these people were smoking. Probably some good drugs. But they just come up with this shit and decide to do it. And I thought this was the most awesome thing ever, right? Like, oh my god, that's so cool. A bark mitzvah. And I look at my golden retriever, Shauna. I'm like, I want to give Shauna a bark mitzvah. So I decide to uh, approach my parents and tell them about this. Like, oh my god, have you ever heard of a bark mitzvah? A what? A bark mitzvah. Instead of a bar mitzvah, you give your dog a bark mitzvah. Like, we should get Rabbi Gilman to do it. There's a rabbi of the uh, temple, Temple Beth Torah, that we went to we were in Dix Hills. Uh, <laughs> you've heard my uh, other story, Mexican Gardeners. You know a little bit about him. And I was expecting my dad to be like, We're not doing a bark mitzvah, David. That's stupid. We're not telling Rabbi Gelman. No. But they actually both started cracking up, to my other surprise, and they're like, that actually sounds kind of cool. Let's call Rabbi Gelman and see if he'll do it. And then in turn, I expected Rabbi Gelman to be like, fuck no. You really think I'm going <laughs> to denigrate myself <laughs> like that as a rabbi and do something this stupid? He actually agrees to it. We're like, what? No way. But I guess he really liked me when I was a kid. And uh, he was a nice guy, and he also, I guess he wanted to be one of the only rabbis on earth to ever do a bark mitzvah. I guess he was adventurous. So we schedule a date and time when he was free, and he comes over to the house and gives Shana a bark mitzvah. <laughs> and we had like a couple of dozen people come over, I guess they all wanted to see this. Because you probably never get another chance in your life to go to one of these. So a bunch of my parents, friends, other people came over. And, uh, yeah, so he said a bunch of prayers. You know, bless the dog, bless Shauna. <laughs> we made like a chopped liver cake for her to eat. <laughs> and yeah, he did the bark mitzvah. I mean, like, wow. You really can't make this shit up. Hollywood couldn't make this up. But, uh, yeah, that was my little story about the time I found out uh, some people gave their dog a bark mitzvah, and I really wanted to do it for my dog, Shauna. And incredibly, my rabbi actually agreed to do this and did a bark mitzvah. <laughs> what a time. What a fucking time.